I have yet to find an M. Night Shyamalan film that I didn't like, and this is certainly also the case with Signs, the 2002 film. I really enjoyed this film, and it seems like a lot of people do. It's got 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, very well received. Really good cast, including uh, Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, and Abigail Breslin. And I have to say, I didn't know what to expect. When I kind of read this, the, well, I didn't read the full synopsis, but when I read a little outline of what it was about before watching it, I kind of thought, really, is this going to be my thing? You put the word, the word crop circles into something, and I'm never that interested. We have an exception. So the description from my MDB is as follows. A family living on a farm finds mysterious crop circles in their field, which suggests something more frightening to come. As you can expect from Shyamalan, nothing is as it seems. This is very suspenseful and not predictable. As I said, I don't really like crop circle based films, generally speaking, but this one is a lot more dark and atmospheric it feels like it could actually happen a lot more than your average crop circle film. The, the characters are, are likeable, I wanted the best for them. When they were scared you could kind of really feel that. The development of the narrative is really good. It doesn't waste too much time, you know, it gets to the point really quickly, but you know, still gives us a little bit of time to get to know the characters and the setup before the ball really starts rolling. And once it starts rolling, it does not stop. It is quite an intense film and you can expect some twists and some surprise happenings and basically if you have any expectations for this film of what you think will happen just forget it because it will be completely different. It's really moving. There's a very uh, interesting moment. I, can, I can't, I won't say anymore. I was going to say there's an interesting moment with something specific that happens, but I think it might be too much of a spoiler or give too much away, so I won't say anything just in case. But absolutely, my advice for this film would be to go in with no knowledge other than the very basic premise, which is what I did, and it made it so enjoyable. I really did enjoy it. It's not my favourite Shyamalan, but it is really good. I'd happily watch it again. I definitely recommend it. Abigail Breslin is absolutely adorable in this. She's so tiny. Really nice film. Very intense. I don't think you'll be disappointed.